But this, in Miami, the best taco I've ever had. I agree. Wow. I agree. What's up guys, David Hoffman here from David's Bin here, coming at you from West Kendall, Miami, Florida, my hometown with my boy, Chef Frankie. That's right. From La Jama TV. La Jama TV. La Jama, La Jama. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. He brought me here to West Kendall to Hate Monday's Tavern. That's right. And this is the best barbecue. I would say the best barbecue down south. A uh, very small place, very huge flavors. Amazing. And the chef is big beard like your boy, you know. Awesome. So from here, we're going to drive over to Biscayne, so like near downtown, I think it's like Little Haiti, to Uptown 66, yep. to a taco spot. We're going to eat lots of delicious tacos there That's after right. the barbecue, and then we're going to go have a colada at Mr. Cream. A uh, dale huevo colada at Mr. Cream. Dale huevo. Yeah, that's that new new. <laughs> that's, that's like some pitbull stuff, so 305, <laughs> dude. And right here we have the smoker. Come here, come here. I want to show you this. Woo! Okay, can I just open this up? Is it hot? Yeah, it might be. Might be. Caliente. Oh, look at that. And what are we gonna eat here? I'm a fan of the ribs, but you never know what Carl's gonna give you. Hey, I don't know what that is, but it's definitely wrapped in bacon and it's huge. So I figure we'll probably be eating some of that. And uh, it's Taco Tuesday here too, so we might even have some brisket tacos. And you never know what Carl's gonna give us, man. He's the man. Right here we have Sofla. What's up? La Hama so TV. Dave, Amazing. pleasure to meet you. Thanks for coming to eat with us. It's lunchtime. That's right, I'm ready yeah. to eat. I'm That's ready. my favorite thing to do. <laughs> I'm ready to eat. They have beer? Yeah, they got They have beer. to have beer. They have it's all a tavern, kinds right? of beer here. <laughs> all right. They're not even that. ready for the beer selection. <laughs> they got let me open it. Everything good? Fantastic. Awesome, man. I'm excited. Awesome, awesome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I've heard so many good things. People like write me all the time, like, you have to go to Hate Mondays. And I'm here. And I'm glad you're here. Thank you, bro. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for What we got there? We got some chicharron right here. It's some lime, it's got a little hot sauce on it with a little chipotle barbecue. If you guys don't know what chicharron is, that is pork rinds. Nice and crunchy and super fatty. Exactly, <laughs> good for you. I clear out your artery. This is, this is a beer, right? Yeah. Right <laughs> Shout out to my dog David. He, David's been, been here. here. He's been here. He's been here, I think he's been here. Has he been here? I don't know. So how many beers do we have? About 90 plus. 90 plus. 90 plus craft beers. 90 plus craft beers. Craft beer, and a lot of Florida, right? A lot of Miami? A lot local, a lot from all over, but mostly local. All right, the smoker. What do we got in here? Got some smoked ribs. I got a uh, stuffed pork loin, bacon wrapped with a little onion, cilantro, bacon, sausage, a lot of good stuff in here. I gotta pull some ribs off right now. That looks good. Wow, that looks amazing. The smell, man, the aroma popping out of there. What is that? Look at that. Oh. So it's got a uh, red onion, uh, a little bit of cilantro, some cheese. It's got sausage in the middle of it. It's all so a pork loin that's stuffed with so many flavors, textures. Oh, it's gonna like melt in our mouth, oh man. Oh my God, I can't wait. I can't wait, bro. Really? I love it. So you have a, oh, that's awesome. So far, you ready for that? Uh, yeah, but there's only two here, so I don't know if you're gonna be able to enjoy some of this with us. <laughs> hey, so what's up with the beer? What do you want to do? What do you want to drink? You tell me. I have this one. It's a pretty good Belgian, like 9%. It's a quad. So this is Copper Town, New York. It's called Brewery Omega Gang, right? Omega Gang? Omega Gang. Okay, we'll try it. A quad. Super strong. All right, let's try it. Oh, wow. Cheers. This is amazing. Cheers, man. Cheers. It doesn't mm. taste super strong either. doesn't taste super strong at all. <laughs> That's the scary part with these type of beers, you know? 10%, you oh, have yeah. two and you're like, whoa. Walk and sideways. And I fasted today. This is what I'm bringing my fast with. There you go. Cheers. Thanks, dude. Thank you. you. I can't wait to eat, man. Thank you so much. Hi. Yo, my gang. Oh, you ready? Yeah, we ready. Chicharroni, we always ready. We got that uh, stuffed pork loin. It's like an American style porchetta with uh, cilantro sauce. Brought to you by Carl. It, this is a porchetta, but it's m from America. Looks like uh, the nectar of the gods to me. Cheers. My man, I'm excited. Hell yeah. This is gonna be amazing. We have this incredible pork loin that's stuffed with so many things and cilantro sauce on top. And then right here we have chicharron. So like I said before, pork rinds, super crunchy. Oh, they're so good. This is like a Cuban staple. Everywhere you go, you'll find it here in South Florida. But here's a little different, right? A little different. Yeah, so, so you know, uh, chicharrones are really associated with, you know, just Spanish people in general, Latins in general. Mm -hmm. uh, Carl's American. So 
he gave us his American version of it. It's a little bit of a like a buffalo chicharron that you probably can't really get anywhere. You know what oh, I mean? Wow. I haven't had him anywhere else but here. So, so it's like a buffalo sauce, right? Yeah, it's like a buffalo sauce, a little wow. lime juice, some cilantro, and, and oh. you know, all the kicks. Dude, let's just dive in. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey, yo, cheers, cheers. Oh mm man. -hmm. Oh yeah. Cheers, not too spicy. Mm hmm. Mm. Nice and crunchy. Inside, tender. Mmm. See, a lot of times the pork rinds, they do like the um, the puffy, airy ones. Mm hmm. They're salty, but rarely do you ever get like a bunch of lime and cilantro on a Dude, pork rind. It almost tastes like like fried chicken in a way. Almost. Almost. Because like you said, sometimes too soft, sometimes too hard. Mm -hmm. Like way too hard. Like sometimes I like, almost break my teeth, you know? This is more like a, you can compare it more to like a crunchy pork belly. Mm -hmm. Cause you see a little bit, if you look inside, mm -hmm. you know, we can see inside you have a little bit of the fat, but then you also have a little bit of the meat and the skin on the backside. So mm. it gives you all the crunch, the soft and chewy, all the textures. Oh my God. And this paired with beer, it's like perfect combo. I don't drink, but I know you're absolutely right. <laughs> when I did drink, this was, Amazing. I think this is like a, I'd say like almost a Cuban comfort food, this. Chicharron definitely is. Carl, he's American, but he's a Miami boy. So, mm -hmm. you know, he's been around all the Latin culture. So he punks it every time, bro. Mm. That's what I wanted to bring you here. Like my favorite barbecue spot in Miami, dude. That buenísimo esto, mm -hmm. increíble. Oh man. This one looks like it's crunchier. Mm -hmm. And you can find a little pocket of meat right there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We love it. <laughs> wow. Yeah. If, if this is this good, I'm, I'm. I can only imagine what that porchetta. I see like whole sausages inside mm -hmm. that porchetta. Oh my god. Bring it around. All right, my man. We are done with chicharrones. If I eat all that, I will turn into a balloon today. <laughs> You'll turn into me. We'll switch, nah, we'll dude, switch spots. Good, we'll switch spots. Flaco. <laughs> and we are ready to go. Look at this. Incredible. Are you ready? I'm ready. I got my American flag forks. American flag. This America. is America. Oh this man, look at this. So this is bacon on the outside. Yeah. You have a cilantro. Yeah. You have sausage. Yep. It's a pork loin. Yeah, I'll hold the plate for you. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. So we got the best forks in Miami right now. Wow, look at this. Man. I can smell the kibasas. Mmm. So many layers. And you got this like string, obviously, you take this off, right? Yeah. What, binds it together? Yes, 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 yes. And we go in here. Carl's the American candy man. When you say his name three times, he shows up with ribs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's clean, baby. It's falling off the bone. Yo, his fingers are dirtier than the bone is. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Let's do yeah. this. So just dive in here, cut a big piece. There's like habaneros in there. Right? right? I want to be careful, yeah. Habaneros, que más hay. But you're a spice guy, no? You, you oh, I love spice. it, man. I love it. I seen you in India eating some stuff that I would be worried about. <laughs> you should be worried about everything. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> I mean, a lot of spices, yes. but the food is absolutely phenomenal. I can only imagine, man. Like, it's so good. Yo, cheers, my cheers, brother. Cheers, bro, cheers. That's all the chain. <laughs> that is so delicious. Oh my God, cilantro, the habanero. It's, it's not so crazy spice, but it's a little hot. You have sachicha aquí. Mm -hmm. Pork loin is super soft. Mm -hmm. You know, pork loin is like the filet mignon of the pig, you know? Exactly. Mmm, yeah, very buttery in a way. Very right? buttery. A little creamy. Very fatty, buttery, creamy. Oh, wow. And then with a the little hint of bacon, oh, it's crazy. It's crazy good. You know, the only thing with, with um, all the pork, you fill up. I'm Cuban. Mm -hmm. I eat pork like at least three, four times a week. They show on every day, right? Yeah, I don't know how great it is for me, but you mm -hmm. know, gotta die of something. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> you know what? Let's move on to the big boy right here. Look at this. Look at this full rack. Oh my gosh. Look at his bones. I love this. That's my favorite part. Oh, I know. Me too. Look at that. Oh, I feel like lick it. Is that a barbecue sauce here? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're gonna taste the smoker. And you're gonna love it. You just go in. Yeah, I say you go in with the hands. Try pull hey, something out. Yeah, pull out a little bone, and you know what I love about the little bone when it's still smoking like that. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. Oh wow! Look at this. And the barbecue sauce, nice and charred. Oh man, the aroma it smells so good. Carl never disappoints, man. Are you ready for this? Yeah, he's my chef crush. You're <laughs> <sure>? <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, oh my god. That little char on the outside is crazy. Oh, you know what I love is that. I know Carlos Process, dude, mm -hmm. and he's out there at 5 in the morning, dude, smoking this stuff. Wow. He don't play no games, man. So this smokes for like a few hours, right? I want to say probably a good five, it has to be at least a good five, six hours. Oh, wow. Mm. Man, I've eaten a lot of barbecue in Miami. You know, ribs especially. You know, Wiz, Hillstones, Flanagan's, but this is the cake. Yeah. The smoke. You know, it's very different. It's natural smoke. It's natural you know, smoke. A lot of these places give you barbecue, they call it barbecue, but they don't have a smoker. You know, they use liquid smoke mm -hmm. and stuff like that, and cause I'm not a fan. Mm. This right here, that little bark, mm -hmm. so they call it that black stuff, they call it the bark. Wow. It's crazy, and the little fat in there, it's just mm -hmm. nuts. It's so juicy. I love ribs, man. I told you this place was off the chain. This place is off the chain. This is so unreal. Wow. Dude, I'm gonna drive out here just for this. It's one thing. Listen, I live in Hialeah, it's a good 30 minute drive, and I come as often as possible. Because mm. it's not nuts. And the barbecue sauce is not anything crazy out of this world. Mm -hmm. You know, very simple, two or three ingredients. That's it. Can't beat it, bro. Yeah, and it's not like overly barbecued, like sauce, right? That's sometimes people just like basically drown it in sauce. Mm -hmm. Not mm -hmm. like this. You have a little bit of sauce, a little bit of cilantro, right? And the ribs. But when you smoke for so many hours, I mean, I, I, as a chef, I know you take pride in what you do, right? Anything you're gonna cook for five hours, mm -hmm. yo, you want it to have that natural flavor, so you taste the natural smoke. You know what I mean? Wow. Best ribs in Miami. Right there. I agree. Dude, insane. I agree. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers this has been bro. awesome. This has been awesome. I know. Thank you, man. You're not drinking, but no, I'm, I'm enjoying life right now. <laughs> I'm drinking. I'm enjoying it, too. I enjoy it like this. Carl smoked these ribs for four and a half, five hours. Look at that. I mean, man, they just look delicious. Look at this. Get it más or no? Yeah, no puedes. Man, I mean, I can. I always can. We always can. We always can. <laughs> but should can. we? I always say, they made it to the moon. Right? Mm -hmm. we, we, we can handle eating the rest of these ribs. You know what I'm saying? Especially me. Wow. <laughs> I got a couple pounds on you. <laughs> <laughs> proud, proud pounds. Mm. Look at that. It just rips out. You don't need a fork or yeah. nothing. And look, it's still... Dude, the bone just slips out. Yep. It's crazy. And then a little smoke comes out. You know, when I eat ribs, I usually just order the ribs, coleslaw or whatever fries on the side, and I eat all the ribs. And I don't touch anything else. People are like, I'm an animal. I'm like, come on, man. Like, it's, ribs. it's there, you know? So now you know, here in West Kendall, Hate Monday's Tavern, 90 different beers, some of the best barbecue you will find in South Florida. For sure, the best ribs. And you can lick your fingers. You don't need mm -hmm. napkins. <laughs> this is probably my MVP of the the whole meal right here because I've had the ribs before ribs are always good you can never go wrong with Carl's ribs but this right here I don't know this should be on like La Hama menu or something I don't know you know what you guys stay working I'll be back in a little bit <laughs> Carl yes sir my man you killed it thank you brother thank you so much bro thank you I truly appreciate the support. I have... yo David you ready for Uptown 66 cuz I'm ready baby Tacos, tacos, Uptown 66. We're going basically Little Haiti up little there. Haiti, little Biscayne little in 66th Street, uh, Northwest. You already know, they got everything over there, all the flavors, baby. We're driving from West Kendall all the way to Little Haiti on Biscayne Boulevard. It takes roughly around 30 minutes to get from down south to basically central part of Miami. If you guys don't know about Miami, Miami is the downtown area. That is what is really Miami. Outside of that, you have many different neighborhoods. This is Little Haiti, so it's north of Design District, Midtown, Edgewater, and uh, you know, lots of different places, lots of different neighborhoods, downtown Miami. And we're almost there, uptown 66, lots of good tacos, I'm excited. I'm, uh, I'm building up an appetite slowly, slowly. I ate a lot of food, way too much food. Like those ribs were like, oh my God, finger looking good, too good. All right, we'll be there in one minute. Yo, yo. Yo, yo. <laughs> Hope you ain't too full, boy. We got some tacos to eat right now. Hey, hey, David, bro. pleasure. Nice to meet you guys. How you doing? Pleasure. You guys ready? Um, ready, brother, ready. Going in the kitchen. Love it. What's up, guys? How you doing? Everything good? David. I love the drink. Thank you, man. Thank you. Awesome. Uh, we got my man over here, Victor. You know, he's a... He's What's a, up, man? What's up, Victor? How you doing? So three different variations of tacos, right? Awesome. This has been raising for like 20 hours, right? 
we put it on the grill, we be our barbacoa right here. Right? Put in the, now this is just the, the, the fat that's been rendering in, but you see it starts picking up and it starts fluffing up. The uh, side and we put it down. So you grab the tortilla, you have that nice little crispy uh, tortilla. And we take the barbacoa and put it in the tortilla for the barbacoa. And it does the same. Right here. A little bit of cortija cheese there. Crema. Pickled carrots. A little radish. Cilantro. Rosé. Then for uh, the carnitas, a little onion. A little uh, pickled cabbage. Some radish on the barbacoa. A little bit of pickled onion. Cilantro. Cilantro, bam, bam, bam. So now this is the magic part, man. Make sure everything is nice and flavorful. Now we make our uh, cheese sauce in house with five different type of cheese. If I tell you, I gotta kill you, so I ain't gonna tell you. All right, we just put a little bit on the bottom right there. It's just to hold the chips together. So the cheese is like a glue to the plate, right? Yeah, yeah, there you go. It just holds everything in place, so now it's not sliding around. Awesome. Veggies already prepared. Spring onions. Roasted corn. One onion. Mm -hmm. The uh, chicken, and I'm just gonna add chicken on the top. For right now. And I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add some uh, sauce to that. This is where we go a little. We're a little generous with it. You know, a little bit of our cotija mix. Then we go a little pickled jalapeno. Because we want it to cut, you know, we want it to, you can see it, you know, see the colors and stuff like that. Put off a little bit of uh, cilantro everywhere. Oye, Dave, when you, when you go eat with La Hama TV, I don't know if you've noticed, but you're going to eat really good. You're going to have the best of the best, the best barbecue. And now here we are, what we think are the best tacos in Miami. No frills, no BS, just really good food from some really dope people in the middle of the street. <laughs> I agree. Is there a couple of frills in here, Nuno? Because I see a frill or two. <laughs> All right, here we go. We have pita tacos. No, I think it's yeah. chicken, carnitas, and uh, oxtail. And oxtail, okay, oxtail. And then over here we have chicken nachos. Incredible. So we have jalapenos, we have this cheese. So cheese on the bottom, cheese on top. We have corn. What else do we have in the here? Radishes. The radishes. Jalapenos. Oh my god. Cilantro. So incredible. Yeah, man, I'm ready to so go. <laughs> right here first? Right, I mean, wherever you want. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's get one. That cheese. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's like a white cheddar. Mm -hmm. Most probably it's a blend of cheeses because uh, Chef Nuno really knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. It's off the chain. I'm sure they pickled the jalapenos a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Oh man. Mm -hmm. mm. You can taste the pickle. In the jalapeno. Oh, so good. Not too spicy. No. Nope. Very creamy, crunchy. Mm -hmm. Dude, I love this. And it's a meal in itself. I mean, you gotta share this, right? So I mean, three people, we're sharing it? Yeah. Kinda. Kinda? <laughs> <laughs> He's hogging it all. <laughs> all right, so here we have the Bita tacos, right? So, what is Bita tacos? Got a sauce. It's, so I will call it a consomme. So I call it consomme. Yeah, it's a consomme. So it's um pretty much, um, I, I gotta ask for sure, but it's the sauce that they use to cook the oxtail, okay. and then you dip the tortillas, I mean, you dip the tacos in there right before you eat it. And it just gives you all that flavor. You know, the concentrated marinade flavor. You know, in, in Cali, it's the birria tacos, super authentic and everything, and these look very, very similar to the ones that I've seen in LA and all that. So, right, let's do it, let's yeah. do it, let's go. Let's go. And then we dip, right? Yeah, you gotta dip it. Like no, nah, but you're dipping it scared though. You can't like, dip it scared. Like drown yeah. it, right? Drown it? Yeah, baby. All right. And then if you notice, over here they put that same little consomme. Right. Okay. So that they could uh so that they could uh fry the taco shell. Cheers, bro. Cheers, Cheers. bro. Mm. <laughs> that is the best taco I've ever had in Miami. Mm-hmm. Wow. Dude, and the cheese in here. The oxtail, I hope you don't mind if I'm double dipping, but do it. It's going to it's gonna happen. This is this is like 
This is what you have to do with the Vida Taco, right? Mm -hmm. You have to dip it. Mm -hmm. You have to get all that. Like, it's almost like a soup, I know. Yeah, almost like a soup. Um, so like a clarified, concentrated, cooked marinade. Okay. Pretty much. It's awesome. Not too spicy. Wow. Love the cheese. Love the oxtail. Wow. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Crazy. Yeah, I've had it with, with beef. Never with oxtail. Crazy. I don't know what else to say about it. I mean, I've had it also like with sheep in Mexico, but this in Miami, the best taco I've ever had. I agree. Wow. I agree. Man, I'm still salivating. Yeah. And sorry for my Spanglish. I did it with my Miami crew here. That's right. <laughs> so we're going to tacos. Tacos. All right, so that's chicken, that's pork, and that's oxtail. Okay. And then we got the, the little green sauce. It should be a tomatillo. Okay. And uh, and the red sauce is hotter. I don't know exactly what it is, but it looks hot. It looks hot. <laughs> I think you should try this one because it's my favorite, and I've actually been here uh, and you have it. So I think you should try this one. So this is the, this is the oxtail. So similar to the vita, but different. Yes, this one has uh, pickled uh, pickled onions, pickled radishes, uh, cilantro. So it's just some. Um, this one is more concentrated, dense, savory flavor, and this one uh, is a little brighter because it has all the pickles. All right, I'll take the carnitas. Okay. Take the oxtail. Yeah, the oxtail, so we're gonna dip it, right? Yeah, you gotta dip it. I'm gonna I'm dip it into heat. I want heat. I love spice. Uh, I'm gonna go, it's your show, so I'm gonna go hard with you. Uh, with me? Yeah, oh, I'm gonna go hard with spice? you, brother. Yeah, let's, do let's it. go. This one also has a little bit of that consomme, right? Wow, super jam-packed. Lots of toppings on top. I'm gonna try some of this one. So dip it yeah, here. that was probably less spicy. I'm gonna go straight lemon, and I'm gonna go back in that in that hot one. Mm -hmm. No, the hot one. Yeah. Mm. It's like a hot paste. No? Yeah. Oh wow, my thing's falling apart. <laughs> Cheers, Cheers, bro. You know, it's been so hard for me to find good tacos in Miami. Nobody I, does it right. Nobody does it right, right? Nobody, except right here, Uptown 66, on Biscayne Boulevard and 66. Literally, this is Little Haiti, right there's Design District. You go a little more north, and you get to, I don't even know. Casa Yeah, yeah there's uh, many different names for it. Too many neighborhoods. They don't get much better than this. No. Delicioso. Not in Miami, nowhere. Nowhere. I'm gonna take a little break. I need a break. <laughs> I need colada, man. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get a colada, too. How you doing? That's it, bro. It's game over for this spot right here, bro. <laughs> Cheers, bro. Everybody's gonna be out here. <laughs> oh, man. So finally, I get a shot to try this this birria. We saw, I mean, how do you pronounce it? Is it birria? Is it birra? I mean, I don't even know anymore. Like, and, and honestly, it doesn't even matter because it's amazing, right? But I've never had it out of Oxion. I saw you guys dipping. But that's not how you dip. You gotta squish and dip a little bit. I got my own technique. This is Lahama TV. It's perfect, man. It's crispy on the outside, nice juicy on the inside. And when you're sharing tacos like this with friends over some laughs, standing on the corner of uh, Biscayne Boulevard in Miami, it's awesome. Let me show you that dip one time. This is what I call the dip 2.0. Oh, ho, 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 papa. The nectar of the gods right here. On point. I'm sorry, Abuela. Your oxtail was great, but Uptown 66 got you, baby. Sorry, Grandma. Thank God Grandma doesn't watch YouTube. So here we're making churros. So it's basically fried dough, right? But this is artisanal style. He made his own like shape. They're a little fluffier, airier, uh, nice and oily. And you also, what do you do? You dip it in the chocolate, the leche, something like that? I don't know. Yeah, we, we make our own chocolate sauce in house. You know, um, so it's really simple, a little cream, chocolate, a touch of um, uh, vanilla, and just a little shot of uh, uh, liqueur, and that's it, you know? We hit it with a little powder sugar, too. And here we go, dessert, right? Wow, churros. Homemade churros. Homemade churros. This is, yeah. you know, typical Spanish, Latin American. You always end with churros, nice and fried, 
dough with some sugar on top, right? Powdered sugar, yep. and you dip it. Yeah, it's like, a, I guess we could call it a chocolate consomme. <laughs> I, I, think, I think that's what, I don't even know what it is. We'll find out. Yeah, and yeah. Then, look at this. Oh, here we have flan. If you're in Miami and you're eating desserts, churros is obviously great, oh. and then flan, those little black spots, is probably a uh, natural vanilla. All right, so let's do this. All right, let's do it. Wow. Drop it. Yeah. Drop it like it's hot. Go first, man. No, papa, no, papa. Oh, mira eso. <laughs> wow. Cheers, my cheers, brother. Cheers, Oh, my God. Mm. Mm. Wow. Oh, my God. It's big, but it's so fluffy. It's almost, you know what it reminds me of? Like a chocolate, chocolate glazed donut. Exactly. I would say like it's, um, you ever been in the fair? Yeah. The, the elephant ears? Yep. Similar. Right? Yeah, because it's crispy on the outside. Mm-hmm. And we still have flan. So we have flan. Mm. Yo, those are crazy, dude. I've had a few good ones here in Miami. These are the top. Those are the best. Man, everything here is the best. Yeah. I, think yeah. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I told you it's good, bro. All right, you, you, you want to go straight for the flan or what? What Let's are we do doing? Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Wow. Whoa. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> wow. Wow. So, tell everybody what flan is, because some people think it's creme brulee, which obviously it's not. Crema catalana, similar, obviously. It's very similar to uh, crema catalana. So it's cream. It's it's cream. It's almost like a creme anglaise. It's, it has eggs in it. It has cheese in it. It has a uh, uh, heavy cream in it. Sugar, vanilla. This one has natural vanilla. Yeah, it's almost pudding. like a pudding, but like a stable pudding. You know, a little more egg than a pudding would have. It's probably the perfect temperature. You never want to eat it too hot. You never want to eat it too cold. And then the little juice. Mm -hmm. It's just crazy. It's so good. You know. Mm. And if you want, you can mix this with like a vanilla ice cream. You know. In Miami, they do a lot of different flangs. Uh, the more uh, authentic ones are probably like flang de queso, flang de coco, exactly. uh, stuff like that. This one is definitely a cheese flang. Yeah. Um, very simple, man. I, I don't taste too much in there besides the basic ingredients and that vanilla. They keep it in 100 over here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> look at how airy and light this is. I mean, look at it. it just, it's just falling apart. This thing is amazing. I'm gonna take some of this chocolate consomme that Frankie was describing okay. earlier because that's fire. I'm very grateful to have a best friend that's a chef because this is part of my life and uh, whenever he finds a great place to go eat at, he makes sure he brings me. I mean, this is amazing. It's not too sweet, perfectly lightly fried, still soft in the middle, a little warm. But there's nothing worse than eating a churro like on the street and it's over fried, right? It's too crunchy, it's too much sugar, too much of everything. Yeah. And this is a, just a great little blend. This reminds me of like a, a mix between a French cruller. Oh, you're getting right? fancy. The donut, the French cruller donut that's super airy on the inside uh -huh. and an elephant ear crisp on the outside. Food descriptions are phenomenal at times. Oh, thanks, man. I'd just like to point that out. Thanks. I mean, I, I don't know. I guess the best way to describe a flan would be uh, a Cuban custard, right? And they use uh, a lot of egg, sugar, the cream, the cheese, and all that. And then they, they make this, like, little juice out of, like, the caramelly sugar and stuff like that. It's just, it's amazing. Mmm. It melts in your mouth. Like, you don't have to chew. You don't have to do anything. It just... Super creamy, kind of like kind of like a a softer, more pudding-like version of a creme brulee. Way better. It's way better, right? Normally, I don't like double dipping with people, but I do it with you. Hey, bro. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right. Next up, we are going to Mr. Cream to have a colada with an egg. Colada with an egg. First time for me. Let's do this. And this is it, Mr. Cream. Let's go inside. My man, I'm back. Yes. How are you? You, you the real food god, bro. <laughs> Don't tell food god that. <laughs> so what are we doing, cola? Yeah, we're not just cola, we're doing dale huevo cola. Okay. That's some different stuff, boy. You can't get this nowhere. You can't even get this in Miami unless you're getting it from me, papa. 
I'll, t I'll take the, I'll, I'll claim the fame that I invented it. You'll see what it is now. So right now we got a little egg yolk, eh, and we got a little cup. You need a metal cup and a metal spoon to make it work correctly, you know what I'm saying? So this stuff right here, that's just the, uh, the whites. So we're gonna use the yolk. Straight in there, pretty straightforward. A couple scoops of sugar. It is Cuban coffee. Sweet. That's the problem with Cuban coffee. It's like sugar overload every yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, right. And then and yo, the, the only secret to this is just, it definitely takes a few minutes. I don't know if you've seen the drip, but that thing got some serious drip on it. That's like, that's not no regular drip. That's that, uh, that's that dollar huevo colada drip right there, you know? Look, if you really look at it close, you can see it like blowing up in there by itself. Oh, that's the egg kind of like getting itself cooked. So Also the heat, right? Yeah, yeah, the, the coffee brew is really hot. It comes out boiling. So technically your egg is cooked. People think it's a raw egg, but it's definitely not. I drink a lot every day in Miami. This is the first time trying this. I'm excited. One more time, just to get some little air in it. Here we go. Dale huevo colada. Dale huevo. <laughs> so David, so you've been with us all day. We took you to what we thought was the best barbecue place in Miami. Yep. For sure. And we took you to our favorite taco spot in Miami. And uh, it was only right that we bring you here to make you our favorite coffee, which is the Dale Huevo Colada created by Chef Frankie. And That's we're right. here at Mr. Cream. And uh, yo, thank you for having us with no. you all day, bro. Thank you guys. Thank you. Shout out so to much. Mr. Cream. Shout out to Hey Monday. Yes. Shout out to uh, DJ FX, uh, Town 66. <laughs> DJ Effect. You already know. And if you guys have never been to Mr. Cream, it's in Wynwood. What street are we on? 2nd uh, uh, Ave? 24th and North Miami yeah. Avenue. Okay, 23rd. exactly. 23rd. 23rd and North Miami Avenue. You walk in, it's like basically hip hop. Uh, I don't know, Hall of Fame, you know, we're over here, we have Tupac, we have Notorious B.I.G., lots of good music, our favorite, let's go, 305. Let's do it, 305. Oh, yeah. Right, man. Thank you so much. Dale huevo colada. Cheers. Oh, man. Papa. Wow. It's like a Super dulce. Super dulce. You gotta be dulce. When the coffee makes you say papa. Mmm. It's good. Oh, man, it's, it's almost like a... I was thinking almost like a hot chocolate. Almost. You know? Almost. Almost. Yeah, but it's right? no milk. Wow. And there's definitely a creaminess to it from the egg mm -hmm. uh, that Chef Frankie put in there, right? There's yeah. this creamy, custardy kind of flavor. Uh, and, 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 and then right here, right? Yeah, look, look at that's, this. Uh, that's the gold right there. Uh, oh, here, take this one. Take this fresh one. <laughs> that's you, my man. That's gold right that's there. That's so good. So we did Hate Mondays. Yep. We did Uptown 66. So best barbecue. Best tacos, best colada. Oh, also, the ice cream here is phenomenal. You have to try it when you come. I'm stopping with the sweets because we had too much colada <laughs> and churros earlier. We did, man. We Yo, definitely stuffed our faces. Cheers. Yes, man. Cheers again, my brothers. Now, sometimes mm. during the holidays, it's I've seen one. Chef Frankie put a small piece of maybe chocolate or Nutella or something to that effect in the in the in the cafe. So it gives you like a little more of a desserty. Yeah, kind of make like a stack, like yeah. a, what we call like a bonbon. Bonbon. Yeah, okay. bonbon. It's like a, a lecce condensada, condensed yeah. milk on the bottom, a whole colada, maybe a little Nutella drizzle, and uh, some whipped cream or something on the top, just in case you didn't get enough sugar no, from right. the first three layers. Yeah, because that was a lot of sugar. <laughs> that was a lot. And Miami winters ain't long at all, but when, you know, we do have that one weekend that it gets cold, it's nice to have a little bonbon made by, uh, by <laughs> Chef Frank. So now you guys know, La Hama TV. That's right. La Hama TV, we got Chef Frankie, we have Sofla, like South Florida. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, you, we gotta yeah, represent our people. Five, you gotta, you know, you yeah, gotta throw it up. We're, we're not gang members, we're not gang members. No, 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 no actually, I, did a, I did a 305 in California and everybody looked at me crazy. Yeah, like. and when I do this, I, might, I have fingers that are stuck. I broke the tendons a long time ago, so it looks like I'm throwing gang signs, but I'm not, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> well guys, I hope you love this video in partnership with my boys right here. We did it, we went around Miami, mini food tour, barbecue, tacos, and colada. If you That's love right. the video, thumbs up. Comment below, subscribe to the channel for more awesome travel content, subscribe to them, follow them as well. And thank you guys so much. Thank Yo, you for the opportunity. Thank you, thank, you, man. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, on so can we get a little something here just for us? Can we can we get you to say La Hama? Yeah. <laughs> Fear the beard. <laughs>